Hello friends, so welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with the roles. So in the edit form, uh, down there, I want to display all the permissions this role has, and also the form to assign a new permission to this role. So let's uh, open the VS Code, and I'm going to open the edit plate in the roles. Inside the roles, we have this edit, and we have the form. Now down there, I want to display all the permissions this role has. And if you go to the Laravel permission package in the basic usage, you have here using permissions via roles. And uh, down there, we have assigning permissions to roles. So role and give, a, give permission to do something. If we if the role has permission to do something and also revoke a permission to do that. Uh, after this form, we have this div and uh, I'm going to add after this div, I'm going to add another div. Oh, not here, not here. Down there. I'm going to not add another div and say add the class with the margin top to be 6 and padding 2 and first here I'm going to add the s2 and say class the b text to excel ok next font to be semi bold and say permission for role permissions. Now in here, we need to add a div and another div for the form. Okay, here is going to be the form and here is going to be the, uh, to display all the permissions. So first I'm going to check if, uh, the role as a permission, so if role permissions and down there make a for each dollar sign role permissions and I'm going to say as dollar sign role permission sorry permissions as a role permission and here right now I'm going to add a span and display the role permission name role permission name and maybe add a class here so margin top to be 4 and padding 2 ok save from here and yeah here we have the role permissions but we don't have any role ok uh, let's add here the form and I'm going to copy this form and paste it here sorry paste it here just select all and I'm going to format this okay now if I uh, go to the browser and refresh yeah we have this form here but it's too long so where is the form I'm going to add class to this div so max width is going to be excel and refresh yeah now here I want to add a drop down a select and I'm going to copy this one. I prepare this, so just copy this one and go to the VS Code. Now here when we have this paste and we don't need 
the country so select all country and say permission and in the label we need to say with capital P permission and here we need to display all the permissions but if I save and refresh yeah now we don't have right now all the permissions so we need to open the role controller and in the edit form in the edit method we need to say dollar sign permissions is going to be with permission and make sure you import the model okay the model is here spot permission models and permission and say all here just get all the permissions and add them here permissions okay now we have permissions in here and make a for each for each dollar sign permissions as the permission and for that i added here role permission not permission because if i had permission here and also permission here is going to mix up so let's remove that okay add option we need the value and the value is going to is going to be permission name uh, and here permission name save and uh, let's uh, see and we have two permissions okay now when i click update just also we need to change this not update but uh, i'm going to say assign and when we click here i want to attach a new role give a permission to this role and for that we need to change the form route which is admin roles update but it's going to be admin roles permission permissions uh, and i'm going to say add or just permissions permissions save now open the web roles because we don't have that and uh, after the road say road post the method is going to be post and it's going to be roles and the role id and permissions the the controller is going to be role controller i'm going to add that here class and the method i'm going to say give permission now the name is this name we added here so roles permissions copy that and say name and paste that in okay save now copy this uh, name here and go to the role controller and create that so function give permission and what we need here we need the request dollar sign request and also the role so role dollar sign role now first uh, when we check here and say assign we need to check if we have this role if the, if the role has that permission we have here in the request so let's say here role has permission to do something and say if the role 
as permission so and uh, here we need to add the request and permission okay because in the edit we say option value permission here select with name permission okay and uh, now we add that permission here if we have if this role has a that permission we need to return back copy this and paste it here and i'm going to say permission exists save uh, that's it if we have but if we don't have we need to assign so we need to say uh, role give permission and the permission and say that give permission and the request permission and after that let it turn back and say permission added or what we can say here permission added okay let's check now if i go to this this and refresh let's see the update post click assign and uh, okay yeah we have a because i copy that uh, form and we add we have in the form we have this method put but we need post not put go back and refresh select this and assign and permission added and we see here now this updated post this is the permission uh, let's assign another one okay permission added and here it is now another one now i want also here to it, when i click i want to remove that permission and i'm going to do the same thing we have here with this button and delete i'm going to do that the same thing are the method uh the form here and remove that so let's open the roles index and here we have that form copy close this one now and here we display the span and just i say spa i forget that anyway remove now that and paste that form now in this button remove the delete and display the uh, role permission name save and the refresh and we have something like this uh in the div add class flex and also a space x the b2 okay a refresh and yeah now we have something like this and maybe in the form our margin talk to be six because it's very toast so refresh and now it's more okay so here it is now if i click i want to remove that uh, role that permission from role and let's see what we can do here here's the method and the action the method is going to be delete okay now the action is going to be the admin roles uh, permissions and revoke i'm going to say okay and here we need also the role id and 
the permission ID that I sign. Not permission, but road permission. Road permission ID. Okay, save and create this road permissions. Revoke road, and I'm going to copy this and paste that. Uh, road is going to be delete. Roads permissions and the permission here. Role controller is going to be a revoke now, not so revoke permission. And uh, the name is going to be roles permissions revoke. So copy that and paste it here. Hit save and now copy this name and create a new method. So function with that name here now we need the role and uh, the permission dollar sign role permission dollar sign permission and what we need here so first if we have that uh, we need to check if we have that permission to this role so let's say if the role has this permission we have here we need to revoke that and then just i'm going to copy this one to save some time paste that in remove the request because we have the permission here and instead of give we need to say revoke okay so if i go here yeah here we have revoke permission okay and uh, after that we return back with message permission revoked if not we need to return back copy that and say with message permission not exist Let's save and see what we got. Go to the browser, refresh. Yeah, if I click this article, are you sure? Yeah. And permission revoked. And also we update here. Click again here. Okay. And permission revoked again. So that's it, friends. We can assign and revoke a permission to the road. Hope you enjoy friends, if you like, like the video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. All the best friends.